Michelle Stafford has had enough with some of the fake news going on about her. So recently, she decided to put a stop to it and even threatened legal action against it. Watch along to find out what really happened. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. For celebrities, they've gotten used to rumors and some fake news about them. Among them is our very own Y and our star, Michelle Stafford. Now, Stafford has been playing as Phyllis for almost 30 years, and she even managed to snag a Daytime Emmy Awards for her acting chops. And obviously, in this span of her 30-year career, she has seen countless articles about her. While some are true, others aren't so. But she doesn't really care about it much. I mean, there's no use paying attention to it anyways. So the queen of Y&R usually doesn't give a flying duck about what people say about her in the media. And most of the time, she even jokes about it, and we all just love her sense of humor. But every now and then, there's a line, and someone crosses it. The articles just get out of hand, and when they start getting into personal stuff, Stafford won't stand a minute of it. She isn't scared to call them out on their fake news. And recently, Stafford got all fired up on her now-deleted Instagram post, and it was for a very good reason. She's calling BS on this post, loud and clear. Apparently, some account was telling her story, seeking some egg donors. So she set the record straight. She wrote, Hey guys, I usually don't care about any stories written about me. You all know that. I just let things go quite easily, but this reporting, for lack of a better word, is completely bogus and just outright wrong. Then she continued saying, I never gave an interview to these people. They don't know anything about my personal story, but because this involves my kids, I had to put them on blast. I never had a donor egg, although I have tremendous empathy and respect for anyone who chooses to go that way. What a gift! For those who have been following Stafford for a while knows, her journey to motherhood hasn't been easy at all. She's gone through some of the darkest time trying to get pregnant, and the painful time of IVFs for three years is something only those who've gone through can understand. So when she heard about the egg donor story, she couldn't just stay silent. She added, in my case, what is stated here is completely untrue. Please do not make me part of your group. Do not make me part of your narrative. As far as getting a surrogate, I did not choose to get a surrogate. I had to get a surrogate. This is disgusting, and I don't want to be part of your profile at all. My journey was a three and a half year IVF hell that nobody really knows about, and you have no part in it. Take this down or you will hear from my attorney. And you better believe she means business. It's her life, her story, and she's not letting anyone twist it for their own gain. Amidst all the drama, Michelle still manages to find a silver lining. She gives props to the account for at least using a dope photo of her. Because, let's face it, when it comes to Michelle Stafford, there's only one kind of photo, and that's a Bayan one. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.